Now, I don't know if y'all saw this, if y'all even know who David Ortiz is. He's a former uh, Boston Red Sox and my Minnesota Twins baseball player. He's a designated hitter. He's He retired in 2016. He's probably going to be in the Hall of Fame. He got about 282 in the high 280s batting average, 500 home runs, about 2,500 RBIs, and no, 2,500 hits, and about 1,700 RBIs. He's a Hall of Famer, yeah. But um, he got shot um, by some contract killers because he was messing around with a drug dealer and Dominican Republican's wife. I don't feel bad for that nigga. He's going to have to wear a coloscopy bag for the rest of his life. Let this be a lesson to people. Fucking with women, pussy, will get you killed or get you fucked up, basically. Like, <clears throat> you got to respect. You, I'm quite sure he knew that that was a drug dealer's uh, girlfriend, wife, or what have you. And she knew she had some nigga. That's another. See, it doesn't make. These women are so hypergamous. You got a drug dealer in Dominican Republic. That cat's got money. David Ortiz got money too, but I think the drug money might be a little longer. Or I don't know. Nah, I, I don't know. Both. If he's in Dominican Republic, and, Dominican Republic selling dope, he's getting money. He shouldn't have to be worried about his girl going astray, but yet she did. She found another dude with money. And you know, know and behold, this to me, uh, David Ortiz, is his wife is white, so he falls under that term swirler so i'm sure cynthia g and paris and all them other uh anti-swirling chicks who who would love to swirl they self um are gonna have something to say about you know what he got into but i mean like i don't understand why dudes don't understand that their safety should come before some sex from a woman man and um, let me see, Big Poppy, huh? another Big Poppy, like Umar, right? He was born in 75. I was born in 74. So he should be, he's 44 years old. Going to, I didn't know, I don't know exactly when his birthday is, but he's close enough in age with me to where he should have woke up maybe 10, at least 10 years ago and said, you know what? Pussy just isn't a priority anymore. It just ain't. Like my health and my safety comes before anything, anything. So, you know, I'm actually liking the fact that, you know, me being red pill going MGTOW, I can see the benefits that other people can't see. I don't I don't know why dudes can't equate the fact that you was fucking with a woman and that's why you got shot. nigga. You could have chose a different woman and it had been a different result, but you still was fucking around on your wife. You know, I don't give a lot of respect for that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, but my philosophy is, you know, let these niggas do what they're going to do, man. Like, I'm only talking to the ones that's already red pill, that already know uh, Terminator 800, where you at? The ones that know that women ain't worth your time, your money, your resources, your heartache. They're not worth it. Sex from a woman, I don't care how good looking she is, is not worth having to wear a coloscopy bag for the rest of your life. All because you wanted sex from a female that was taken. When you had a woman at home that you should have been sleeping with. You should have been worried about going out here getting these other women, man. That's another thing that's going get, to gonna get niggas fucked up. Wanting an abundance of pussy. That shit is so whack. I mean, I don't feel bad for Big Poppy at all. Not at all. I'm not glad that it happened to him. But he needs to learn a lesson and be an example to everybody else. Like I said earlier in the video. Two things come out of messing with a woman. You'll get killed or you'll get fucked up.